Hello everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Class of Power. In this video, we will be discussing about the notification. This is the out of the box feature that has recently introduced in model driven. Earlier, we were having the push notification concept, but that concept was only be utilized from the power automate flows. Okay, and that was especially working for the canvas application. So now this notification is also working for the model driven. Okay. So I'm just navigating to my screen. Here I have already created one application and that application looks similar as we used to create the application some years ago. Okay, so there you can see at the top we have the search, we have the flow icon, we have the create new option, advanced find settings and all. So there is no SSH notification. So if I navigate you to the Microsoft doc, here you can see the send and not notification with model-driven apps. They have written a small JavaScript that needs to be written, that needs to be pasted in your console in order to start the notification feature for your model-driven application. Okay, so I'm just copying it. Copy. Okay, and here you can also see in the JSON notifier at this portion you need to write the scheme name of your model-driven application. Okay, then only that code will work absolutely fine to your system and it will work perfectly okay so let me just go back let me just write it to my notepad okay so i have done this and now as this is my application notification demo i want to first find the schema name of this application okay so for that i have created this application uh, here and there if your application is not present in any solution then it means that application would be present in your default solution okay so you need to just go to the default solution so here is my default solution and i have already searched my application so here is the name cr4d3 this is actually the schema name of my application and that is exactly required to be paste in that javascript in order to enable that notification to your model driver okay so we'll write the same in our code it's yes it's here only so we write cr4 d e underscore and notification demo so right now you can see I have written the same CR4D3E notification demo app and I simply copy the code. Okay. Now I come back to the application, not to the main screen and simply play this application. Okay. So just play it. And here you need to just go to your console. So then inspect and just go to your console and there you need to just paste your code. Okay, and simple enter this. Once you enter this, you just need to see whether your this code has already done or not. So you just need to open it and see whether it has worked fine or not. Yes, so it has completed. Okay, so it means my part has already done okay so i simply refresh this application okay now that notification icon should appear on the screen and yes sometimes it's take little time to reflect okay that is also true so you need to just keep on refreshing it so it is not there just forget your browser once more And try to play it if it is there or not. It hasn't added it in the OK. Then, what you need to do, you need to just I believe that needs to be published one more time. Okay, 
see that application is present in the default solution so i can't publish my default solution okay because it will take too much time so i simply create one more solution okay let make an name of uh, not not demo not demo sol demo solution okay and the public let's say it would be any default one create it and then i'll simply go inside it and add the existing app okay the multi one app and now i'll search for the notification demo app yes, here it is i simply add this component to my solution and now i simply publish this once it's publishing we can just go and check what are the other things that are added in this doc so here you can see this is a send an app notification and this is the code that needs to be run in order to send the notification so if you have ever used the apis it mean when you try to understand this code this is nothing just uh, it is just creating a record in app notification table okay there is a and there is a entity there, there is a table that is introduced in cds okay all the records whosoever would be added in this table would come as a notification to those application where this notification part is enabled okay so on on the other side you can also see for the web app api as well there is nothing they are just sending one post request to the app notification table okay so they are nothing they are just creating one record in the notification table and that would be reflecting in the notifications okay so it's completely depend on you which which way you actually use to create the record so i prefer to use the flow okay because flow can also be used to create one record so i'll use one flow here it's uh, publishing okay we can just create the flow in on the other side okay and just i'll simply go with the instant flow because it's completely on you which way you are using to create the one record in the notification table okay so i'm using power automate flow either you can use javascript you can use any api anything you can use okay i'm using this one okay and i'll use data words and as it is nothing just a one record of any table so i create user character add a new row and the notification okay, so this one is the notification okay so here i can see we have the columns that are there okay so we'll write the notification that is a new notification already let's say there is a new record added in the notification table and these are the things that you can be used to get more uh, user experience things okay so i'm just focusing on some parts let's say it would be the info type notification and the priority let's say it would be normal i'm just filling only required entries okay that are that needs to be there in order to create the notification okay and i simply close it and uh, send notification i simply save this application flow and i can see whether it is okay so if i play this app right now will it be showing me let's check that is still not there so it takes little time yeah why don't i don't really don't know why it is taking but yes it takes little time guys if you are doing this at your end ha huh, yo okay so here you can see this bell has came into the picture okay so it means that notification has enabled for this 
application okay if if anyone throughout your organization is using this application that notification part would be there as well okay so i'm just playing my triggering my flow okay test it and simple send run the flow that flow is doing nothing it's just creating one record in the notification table okay that is it so it has created now i just need to see and check a notification and see here you can see i got the notification new notification there is a new record that is in why it is doing coming at two times it is not uh, two times actually it is the one time only but uh, there is a like uh, you need to just change the these type of things okay this dialog box needs to be updated somehow so that it will give you only one time type of things okay that you can customize uh, as per your need okay my focus is to just show you how we can actually see the notification how can we key and actually enable this notification feature in the model driven okay so guys yes that is all for this video you can use anything from this doc that is official document that microsoft has actually released and the, they have used only do these two things first is their javascript to create one record in the no, app notification table okay this is the schema name of the table. okay and here too you can see this here they are creating from the api so the same name is there and these are the things that needs to be used in order to customize your notification data card okay so you can uh, customize as per your need so that is all i guess okay for guys thank you for watching this video everyone and if you need any help in this part you can just write in the comment section of this video okay so i'll definitely revert you there okay so thank you everyone thank you bye bye